Hey YouTubers, I'm going to do something a little bit different this week. I'm going to use a microphone for the first time, which is a little bit weird because I like just talking as I'm walking, right? Um, so hopefully this sounds okay for you. One thing you may notice right off the bat is this is not the same transformer that I had in the first video. <laughs> the reason for that is because I haven't had a chance to make it back to Kansas. And I was just down south in Texas and I took video of this substation, so figured I'd show this one uh, as I'm talking. So as you saw in that last video, we had some issues with that transformer, so we took it down. Uh, the fans were running on it. It was clearly warmer than the other transformer, which is the exact same in the exact same place. Um, everything is the same, but it's 20 C hotter. So we shut that down, contacted the manufacturer. It's honestly taken a while to get things going. Uh, but the first thing we did was pull oil samples. The oil sample pulls, I think, nine different gases and a number of different things. It's a, it's a quite the laundry list of results that you get back. Um, and each of those results will tell you something different about the transformer. So like if you have insulation um, issues where the insulation is degrading, you'll see high levels of uh, carbon monoxide and dioxide. If you have overheating in the transformer, you'll see hydrocarbons. Um, I think there's PD testing, or excuse me, PD uh, discharges. Um, you'll see hydrogen that's present. So each result that you look at uh, will tell you a different story about the transformer. Uh, it's really interesting to look into and see how all that stuff works. It gives you a complete health assessment. It's exactly like drawing your blood. Um, you can see exactly what's going on. So. Those results came back and everything was surprisingly normal. It's actually a good thing. I was glad that everything was normal, um, but that was good. Oil was good. Nothing happened to the transformer and nothing was happening to the transformer. So that was ruled out as being a, like a potential, you know, hardware issue, um, a issue with the core, issue with loose connections inside the transformer. Uh, anything like that was immediately ruled out, which, which was great. So now it's on to the next items. Now that we have ruled the oil out, there's a number of things that had to be checked. So the wiring to the thermostat was checked. Uh, the temperature sender was, I think they ohmed that out and just to verify that it was getting the correct information from it. That checked out. They checked the uh, the valves, obviously, just make sure the valves were open to the radiator and make sure that oil was flowing through. Um, everything checked out. So the next thing to do was to turn on the transformer and see, I don't know, if we can see anything else that was potentially wrong. Uh, the temperature gauges, those were right. The oil was good, so what the heck is going on? So. Uh, the crew came out on Saturday morning, I think October 24th, just last Saturday, and we energized the, that, that transformer, and we let it sit for about six hours to see if we could see some physical changes with the FLIR gun. So after six hours, these were the pictures. Uh, the first one that you're looking at right here is the, the transformer that was good, the transformer that we had no issues with. That was more or less the baseline. And here's the second picture of the troubled transformer. Obviously, you can see some issues. Um, even though it's clearly more red than the other, that doesn't necessarily mean it's massively hotter, but it does show that there is a temperature difference. I'm not an expert in this type of troubleshooting. Obviously, I can see that there's an issue. You can see that there's an issue, but what exactly is causing that? It, it must be some sort of flow issue, like a valve is closed, but we eliminated that. This transformer is not circulating properly. So I was still kind of scratching my head. At the same time, I'm scratching my head. The gentleman on the phone uh, that works for a company that commissions these transformers, they're, they're a company that's paid to go around the country, assemble transformers, fill them with oil, and get them to the ready to energize state. Um, he immediately knew. He said, you know what the problem is? You've got air trapped in each of the radiators at the top. So what he had to do was we had to de-energize de it, of course, lock it out as usual. And apparently there's some bleeder valves on the top and he was able to bleed the air out of each of the individual radiators. And it was as simple as that. 
uh, air trapped in the top. So that air pocket was preventing that oil from continuing back in to the top of the transformer where it would flow back down and start kind of the process of, of going up as it heated and then coming down and cooling up and back and forth. So uh, he nailed it and he went up there and started bleeding those valves and sure as heck, that's exactly what it was. There was a bit of air in each one, uh, not exactly the same amount, but there was air in each one. So uh, the root cause of that was the original company that came out to assemble that transformer. Uh, somewhere along in their process, they either forgot to bleed the radiators on that side. Um, well, that's probably exactly what it was. Uh, and the reason that we're pretty positive that's it is because every radiator on that side of the transformer had air in it. The other side did not. The other side was bled fine. So, you know, one of those things, you got a lot to do, you're in a rush. They remembered to do one side, but forgot to do the other. So once that was bled out, they re-energized, we re-energized the transformer, checked the uh, f with the flare gun once again, no problems at all. So that's exactly what it was, just air pockets uh, trapped in the radiators as a result of not completing the commissioning process for the transformer. So honestly, wasn't expecting it to be something like that. I'm glad it was something like that because it's very easy to fix and it's back online and we're running. So uh, thanks everybody for showing some interest in this and i um, glad you guys are a part of uh, finding out kind of the same way I did on, on what the problem was because I was definitely stumped and I'm glad it was an easy fix. Appreciate everybody, thank you.